Hey, we back. I'm here with more Tatsumaki Guide, and today we are tackling the big thing. The big thing being Tatsugochi. It is, funnily enough, similar to Tamagotchi of the similar name. Um, this is something that I do not have too much experience with, so bear with me if I get something wrong. Um, it may happen. Um, I did use Tatsugochi uh, a fair bit ages ago, as in like a few years ago, um, and I know the system has changed since then. I wasn't particularly active on it, so I didn't know much about it back then either. Um, so this is going to be a learning experience for everyone, um, but I've had a bit of a read. <laughs> Interesting, I've got two votes available apparently. Um, I've had a bit of a read of the wiki page, um, and I think I can roughly explain what is up with this. Um, and better yet, because it's not something that I've done myself, I can walk you through it properly. That's something that doesn't normally happen. So today we are starting Tatsugochi, we're going to see what's up, um, and if you are confused about what's going on, hopefully I can help you out. Uh, so, we're going to start by uh, having a look at the wiki, actually. Uh, we have a bunch of commands here, a bunch of stats and whatever else. Um, but what we're going to concentrate on the start is obtaining a Tatsugochi. Um, there's a bunch of different rarities and they have different percentage chances. Um, if you want the super rare ones, you want to get the pet plus capsules, but that costs tokens. Tokens are hard to get. You can pay to get them, because of course you can, or you can get them through other things like Tatsugochi itself. I'm just going to go with the regular pet capsule today for demonstration. Um, credits are pretty easy to get. Um, we're going to get a wrapped Tatsugochi and then we find out what variety it is. We can unwrap it and then go from there. Right, so let's, let's get started. Um, I assume we're going to want some sort of shop. Here we go. Global shop. Uh, Tatsugochi is number three. This is one of the things I really like about uh, Tatsumaki. Uh, they've really made a good use of these uh, message types here. Aha! Here we go! Pet Capsule! Just kept pressing next until it popped up. So we have number two. I'm gonna put that in. Pet Capsule. We have the Pet Plus Capsule as well, which is worth tokens. Um, but like I said, we're just gonna go for Pet Capsule. This size ball, half of which is light grey, the other half of dark grey. Open this capsule to obtain a random pet. Um, I have no tokens, but I have plenty of credits, so let's get one. Um, enter the amount to purchase, enter payment type, and then enter confirm. Okay, so I wanna buy one. I want to buy it with credits. Do you think we need the... I, I think actually we probably don't need the speech marks, credits. Um, and then I will put confirm. E that worked. So that's how you do that. <laughs> Surprised that worked first try, to be honest. I have bought a pet capsule. Fantastic. So now if I look in my inventory, we should see... Uh, Tatsugochi, we should see my pet capsule. There it is. Um, oh, we've got a little hover me. A standard pet capsule. When I hover over it, it says a standard pet capsule. Um, that's cool. Uh, now I'm going to press 2. Let's see if we can use it. We can. We can use it. So we just type one of these. There you go then. Use. See, I said this would be a learning experience for everyone. Got a lot, nice little animation there. We are opening a pet capsule. I got a wrapped snowshoe. Epic. That, that's actually pretty good. Hold on a second. If I bring you back to the web page, we have all the rarities here, right? Common, uncommon, rare, very rare, epic, and legendary. It's not the best rarity there, but there was a less than 1% chance of that happening. Epic is clearly very good. <laughs> I, I should consider myself lucky. It's all my Oro luck. I never had any Oro luck. It's all just rubbed off onto Tatsuma uh, Tatsumaki. Uh, so there we go. I got a wrapped snowshoe, which is epic. All right, here we go. Wrapped snowshoe is skinny cat who's always watching things. The snowshoe is sure to watch over you. Might not help you if you get into trouble, but at least it'll watch. Okay, and it is currently wrapped. Now, there is a relevance here. Wrapped means something, as it says. You can only see pets basic information such as rarity and species, but not attributes. Attributes being this stuff. Um, and not attitude either, being effects. 
So I think we should unwrap this thing and see those stats. Hey, we finally got there. Um, it's It wasn't working with the use. I feel like you should work in this situation. It said it was, uh, but as you can see, the text box was having none of it. Um, but eventually I found the TG unwrap command in the help menu. So this is why we use help menus. But now I found out you don't have to search for it. I am going to unwrap my snowshoe. Uh, yes. Aha, confirm. Unwrap my pet. There you go. Unwrap my snowshoe, the epic cat. So now set as your active pet view with T T G. Is it going to show it to me? Hey, there we go. It's in its little house. Um, it is level one, and that is that is all it's saying basically. Um, we've got its stats though. Um, I don't know if they die. I think they used to die. It'll probably end up dead. I'm sorry, people. Um, Maybe I'll get into Tatsu, Tatsugochi properly at some point, but uh, I don't know. Epic pet though, very cool. So, the point is, what do we do with this pet? Well, there's a few things that you can do with it. We have our four stats here. Hunger, health, this one's like dirtiness or something. And then this one is, I think, fatigue. Um, so, uh, first, uh, let's try and get some XP. Um, we can do train. Was it TTG train? It's probably TG train, actually. It's one of them. It, <laughs> I don't know which. I think it's TG train. Um, so there you go. Uh, training success. Uh, we've got 10 XP and plus 3 fatigue. Uh, he, he did a front flip. Fantastic. Good job, Snowshoe. Um, as you can see, we have uh, 10 out of 200 XP. Once he hits 200 XP, he's going to level up. Uh, from level 1 to presumably level 2 um, and then when he hits level 50 uh, we get prestige there's other things you can do to level up though so for example there is walking walking is gonna get some more XP there we go 5 XP for walking a lot more fatigue so this is much better in terms of um, get, getting that, that XP quicker um, also minus fullness I guess that's fullness the, the food thing there um, but one thing that you can get with walking is you can get items. Um, now, I wouldn't know. I'm not exactly sure what all the items do. Um, but they are obviously going to be helpful for something. At least I would hope so. And if you go on a walk, you have a percentage chance to get an item. So we can come check that. Uh, so. Walking. Here we go. Uh, exact drop rates aren't currently known. Uh, but you can get some credits, not particularly helpful. Previously lost pet. Uh, so yeah, this is what I mean about the pets dying. I'm pretty sure they can die, and I'm pretty sure this is something that can happen. So there you go. Uh, we can get some furniture though, some cosmetics, and this is what I meant about the tokens. There are methods of getting tokens in Tatsugochi and probably other bits of Tatsumaki without having to pay for them. 10 to 30 tokens is not a huge amount, and 0.03% is also not a huge amount. Uh, so they are going to be pretty rare. Uh, but you can get them, that's the point. And... If you are active enough with the walking and with all the rest of Tatsugochi stuff, um, you can you can build up some reasonable amount of tokens and you can buy the good stuff in the bot uh, without having to pay. So that's fun. Now, this is not the only method to get tokens, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, so there are advantages to walking, uh, but training is, is better. Uh, we can do train again. I believe it has a cooldown, but the cooldown is not too long, so that's fine. Um, and there you go, another 10 XP, and we could sit here and grind this for a little bit, the same as you would with, with any other bot. Right, uh, but the fatigue, the fatigue is going up, we are eventually going to hit max on the fatigue, and as you may have guessed, once you've hit max on the fatigue, you, uh, you cannot grind any longer, so you kind of have to optimise that. However, um, you remember we have four items here. Fatigue is but one of them, and we can fill up all of the rest. So, if we look at the commands here, we have three commands. Tachigochi feed restores fullness. 
Tatsugochi Clean restores dirtiness, and Tatsugochi Play restores affection. So let's go and run through those three quickly now. We have TG Feed. There you go, plus seven fullness, and that cost me 80 credits. 80 credits not being a, a huge cost to me. Um, if you have actual food, it will use that instead of charging you. Um, but it's just as good to buy the food as it is to just do it automatically. It costs the same amount, so there's no point buying the food. Um, I assume you can get the food through methods other than buying it from the shop, uh, and then it will make feeding your pet a little cheaper. Uh, we also have TG Play, I said. So there you go, there's that one. Uh, affection plus two, fantastic. Your pet stays still as you give it a good massaging. Very cool. Uh, I just did the same command again. Pet growled at you as you move tokens. Yeah, okay. You, you, you can't get above the max, right? Good demonstration. That's what I did that for. Mm -hmm. And there you go, dirtiness gone down as well. Uh, now, I assume if your pet runs out of all attributes, that's when it leaves. Um, so that's what you don't want to be happening. Uh, these do not go down that quickly, so you should be fine as long as you go on like once every day and clean and play and feed. Um, your your Tatsugochi is, is going to be happy for a good bit. And you can do your, your trains, um, slowly be leveling it up, getting the XP and it's all good. Your walks, getting items, etc, etc. Um, and all in all, it's pretty good. It's a good method of getting tokens and it's just a bit of fun as well. Um, as was uh, Tamagotchi, which is clearly what this is based off of. But um, that is pretty much all the basics. That is how it works. Uh, there's a lot more to this, obviously. Um, for example, there's uh, all of the items that we haven't even gone over. You can get cosmetics, there's the house that, they, that you put them in, uh, and this is stuff that we can go through in later videos, potentially. Um, but this is currently about the limit of my understanding. Uh, this is about as much as I understood in the past when I used this part of the bot, uh, and it's about as much as I understand now. So it is all we are going to talk about today, um, but hopefully you kind of get how to use the menus, how to take care of your pet, and all the rest of it now. Uh, I won't lie, it's not the easiest thing to figure out with all these new fancy menus uh, that Tatsumaki has implemented. Like I said, they look really nice and I really appreciate them but they are not the easiest to figure out. Um, and it's help pages just direct you to the wiki, which are good. Still recommend checking that out. Help pages are always good, even if they do just recommend you to the wiki, but I prefer other bots help pages. That's just personal choice though. Anyway, that's all I have to say on the pets. So I will leave this one here. Bye.